What's up, Team Lockdown? It's Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a 360 in a day. Literally, like, you can go up on the mountain and learn how to 360 in one day if you do all of this stuff. With that being said, I'm assuming you can already do a frontside 180, and the rotation, the 360 that I'm going to teach you how to do in a day is a frontside 360. Now, if you're wondering what a frontside 360 is, it's when you pop off your heels and your arms go forward and you 360 this way. Backside would be if you pop up your toes and you pull your head backwards off the kicker of the jump. So we're going for front side 360 today. Now, before we even just try to go send it off a jump, which is our end goal, that's when you can claim that you have a 360 is when you can do it on a park medium sized kicker. But before we go do it on one of those, we're gonna do it on a run. Now, how are we gonna be able to do a, a 360 on a run? And this is what we're gonna start off by doing. Find yourself a nice mellow green, a flat area. And what you want to do is you want to get some speed and then you're going to go to your heel side edge. And when you get to your heel side edge, you're going to pop and then you're going to spin the 360. We're really doing a 270. We're cutting the rotation down a little bit. What this drill does is it teaches you to take your head and spin it. We don't want to be pulling down. We more want to be pulling upwards and having this lead shoulder ripping across but really you got to get that head across a front side 360 is a blind landing so once again that that drill looks like this we're going to be going heel side jump 270. now when we jump and spin we want to try to land onto our toes so we're going heels jump spin toes i didn't get my tail up you can't kind of easily do it but we're going heels jump 360. really we're going to get that head around and that shoulder. Now you can find rollers or things to do it and go your own speed. Like you can go really slow and do it. Or if you're not ready to jump, kind of skip the step. You can do it flat ground too. You can be going, practicing 360. Okay, I'm going, use my head, practice 360. You've got to train your brain and your muscles to go for a th the full 360 and not stall out. What probably keeps happening to you is you're going 270 and you're stalling here and you land on the landing of a jump at 90 degrees because you don't have the muscle memory and the vision to know when to rip the last of the 360. All right, so now let's go find some side hits. We gotta go to the top of the mountain to find the good side hits to work on front side 360s. So something that you can do to help you with your front side 360 as well as snag an evolution sticker. I hear there's a rumor they help you get a 360 in a day. It's just a rumor, but you know, it could be worth it. You know, it also supports the dream. So it is busy. So every time we're doing side hits, you need to make sure you're looking up run before you chuck your 360 on the side hit. We're also looking for a specific side hit. So the specific side hit we're looking for is the one that's gonna be on the side of the run. If you're a regular rider, you're gonna look for one that's on the right side of the run. If you're a goofy snowboarder, you're looking for a side hit that's on the left side of the run. And we're looking for one that goes off the trail, curves back into the trail. So essentially when you're coming back to the trail, we're gonna do a 360, which is gonna be more of like a 270 because the side hits, you know, carving hard back into the run. So it is a 360, but it's also kind of a 270. So it happens to a lot of people, they learn how to do the 360s on the side hits, but they can never get them on cheese wedges because they're used to the side hit helping them throw that 360. This is an assisted, 360. So let's do one real quick. So we're gonna go off the run. It's bringing us back in. 360. Now that was a small one. We got a big one over here. The nice thing with these is you can kind of stop above them. Make sure no one's gonna be in your landing. Look, always look up the run. We're gonna drop in. This is gonna be about my speed. 360. So you're gonna want to start going and finding those side hits and doing those 360s. That's how you're really gonna get the rotation dialed with airtime amplitude. So once you start getting your 360 dialed on those whipping you back into the run side hits, you're now ready to take it to the park because you're basically getting the 360. One bonus tip is you always want to land on your toes because if you land on your toes on a 360, it helps you stop your rotation. So like with this hit, I'm going to drop in. Plus the 360 land on my toes, the rotation is stopped. Now when you're learning the 360 in a day too, don't worry about getting grabs. We'll worry about the grabs once we get the, the rotation dial. Because when you start grabbing with your 360s, it kind of pauses your rotation a bit. We're at a point now where we're ready to go to the park. So let's do that thing where, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I Okay, so when we're hitting park jumps, whether it's a five foot, 20 foot, 50 foot jump, the same principle matters. If you're going to spin a front side rotation, you're spinning off your heels. So when you drop in, you want to drop in on your heel side edge. Once you get to the belly of the jump, the lower part of the jump, you want to transition to your toe side edge. That's 
that's when you're gonna dump any speed. If you're going too fast, take your speed off on your toe side edge. And then as you go up the wedge, you transition to your heels and then you pop, rotate and put into principle the moving the head, the shoulder and getting it around. Well, once again, we're popping off our heels. We don't wanna be flat based or toe based and taking that heel side edge into the wedge is how we're gonna make sure we're on the proper edge to do the proper rotation. That works whether you're regular or you're switch or goofy or whatever you wanna say. Okay, so you're gonna drop on your heels, get to the belly on your toes, heels, 360. Okay guys, that is how you can go out and learn and do a 360 in one day if you follow those steps now you might get stuck on one of the steps for the day it might be the 270 it could be the side hit but you could go out and immediately it all click with those tiny little exercises and just know it will take hundreds of 360s that kid almost killed you damon it will take hundreds of 360s to get them really dialed, really locked in. Nothing is just gonna come out and truly get in a day. It's all kinds of practice and preparation and drills and skills that you can put together to get it. So I hope this video helped. If it did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching T-Ball Guys. And as always, keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this number channel and we do stuff like this daily.